What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Gloss Garage, where we make detailing simple. My name is Sock, and today I have something special for you guys. So I apologize in advance for not doing an intro on this video. I was pressed for time, but today we do have a big boy. It's a 2018 Toyota Tacoma that came in for our express polish and then we go ahead and seal it with ceramic gloss and just a extraction on the seats and a general wipe down on the interior so i will talk about it more but at the moment let's just take a walk around on the exterior and i will show you the interior in a bit but the exterior you could tell it's been neglected the plastic trim is already fading you have water spots little water etchings and also the oxidation that's built on the paint the wheels the tires again this vehicle is not really a construction vehicle but it is from a owner that does do some general contracting work and he does not use this vehicle daily and believe it or not this vehicle only has 20,000 miles on it but we'll go ahead and take care of it with the DIY detail product line and let me know what you guys think and feel about the DIY detail product line for me it's in my regimen pretty much permanently I love the way it works the ease of use and the application of every single product and for the paint polishing step we are using the DIY detail gold standard polish and their gold standard waffle pad which has yet to fail me and I will talk about that more inside the video as for the interior this is how the interior looks so my wife will mostly tackle the interior while, while I tackle the exterior so this is how it looks the customer only really wants the seats to be extracted or deep cleaning or shampooing on the seats not really the carpets so we charged accordingly based on what what is the need so the rest is going to be DIY detail clean and protect to wipe down clean these door panels see this is all faded already because of the Sun and yeah, so we're just going to steam clean and extract the seats to remove any staining that's right here. And I don't know how long that stain been there. Hopefully not too long. That should come out and deep clean the seats and fabric and make it look pretty much new again. While the rest we're going to vacuum and wipe down with interior clean and protect. And yeah, so that's about it for the interior. Nothing really there. So we'll do a quick glimpse of the process. Maybe I am pressed for time. It is at the moment 2.30, 2.45. So it does get dark quick. So we're going to focus on the interior. I'll probably help my wife real quick with the interior. And then we'll go ahead and start washing the exterior once we're done with the bulk of the process of the interior. If you guys like this type of content hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also let me know what you guys like to use for your wheels and tires and all the products will be down below in the description but for me for my wheels and tires i like to use rinseless wash inside my wheel bucket i do put all clean diluted 13 to 1 from diy detail inside the ik foam sprayer and for this detail specifically just based on how heavy it was with the dirt and grime i did use the extra tough wheel and tire cleaner which went ahead and took care of everything literally in just two passes. Here's a quick tip that I like to do on pickup trucks, especially when they have step railings. I go ahead and clean those areas first and it only takes about two to three minutes. I go ahead and spray APC or in this case, I did spray the extra tough wheel and tire cleaner. I sprayed it down and used the wheel brush. It's not stiff. It's not the super stiff one, but just stiff enough to go ahead and agitate the grooves and deep clean the step rails. So then when I do go ahead and wash the vehicle, and past the wash mitt or anything near it i am now grabbing that dirt sand or any possible rocks that's inside the grooves of the step rails so that way i am just perfectly fine and happy and you know mentally just stress-free thinking that i may scratch the vehicle or pick up any of that extra dirt and grime unnecessarily on the paint and not the super dirty areas or even if i touch it it's not dirty anymore because i've cleaned that area 
So let's just go ahead and move along. Look at the tires and wheels, nice and clean, and the fenders. And we're on some good timing. So it is 3.13. My wife already pretty much took care of the interior. So she's almost done with the interior. She's up to the extraction part. Remember that stain that was there? That's gone. And she's gonna go ahead and extract the seats. And that's it. So we're just gonna head, go ahead and continue on with the rest of the detail. So this is just quick and simple. So I go ahead and spray a bit of the all clean diluted 13 to one on the exterior. And then on the rest of the paint, I spray a bit of the DIY detail rinseless wash to go ahead and emulsify all that dirt and grime that's there. And then I move ahead and use my contact wash why did i go straight to my contact wash right after because the vehicle is high up and it doesn't drive through construction sites it's mainly through just regular roads here in new york so it's not really that it has rocks or anything really on the bottom parts of the panel so i go ahead and just go straight to my wash as for the decontamination step, I did use the DIY detail iron remover with their clay towel. I used the iron remover as the clay lube and I did spray a bit of the rinseless wash on the pump sprayer that I have to, you know, routinely clean that clay towel after every panel. And then here you see the bleeding that the iron remover is doing onto the paint. That is all the iron fallout that's on the paint. And then after that, just to give you guys a heads up, this vehicle was heavily oxidized and when we move to the polishing step you guys will see but it did not take much effort at all just a couple passes with the clay towel and it felt smooth like glass as for me this is the most important part of any detail especially if you have water spots you really want to break down those water spot minerals and that salt and everything that clogs the pores of the paint because you do not want to drive them deeper into the paint when you go ahead and polish the vehicle now i did again use a bunch of this water spot remover i like to call this cheap insurance and i rub it in with the kirkland microfiber let it douse and once you guys see afterwards when i'm spraying off the water spot remover on how much quicker the water sheeting is you know sheeting off the paint because now we've unclogged those pores broken down those minerals and now when we are polishing off those water spots it's actually the superficial or the you know the spot itself and we're not driving the minerals deeper into the paint All right, everyone. So look, you guys just saw me do the quick four suction passes over there. And this is all the oxidation that came off that part of the hood. So yeah, let me go ahead, wipe it down. And once I back it inside the garage, you guys will see with the overhead lights on how it actually looks. And you guys are gonna see a huge difference between 
the section I didn't polish and the section I did polish, my wife is still continuing the interior. She's almost done. She's just steaming the seats. And that's about it. Go ahead and wipe off the rest of the polisher. As we move on to the polishing step using the DIY Detail Gold Standard Polish and their waffle pad, I'll go ahead and focus on the paint first. Then I go ahead and polish the plastic trim after. And yes, you can polish the plastic trim, but mainly I'm cleaning the plastic trim, removing that layer of oxidation and giving it that deep rich look and then i go ahead and use the tire dressing from diy detail after although in my personal opinion i would have loved to go ahead and restore the trim but the owner opted out for that so i just went ahead and cleaned the plastic trim using the diy detail gold standard polish and then use the diy detail tire dressing just to give it that nice final look and as you can see from the front fender compared to the front bumper look how deep and rich the paint looks already we remove that layer of oxidation and it's just a complete 50 50 and i will show you guys the hood in just a few minutes Just a heads up, my microphone piece just broke. There's that piece making a video. So as you guys already know, my microphone broke, so you guys are gonna have to bear with this audio. But here's a quick 50-50 on this side. Yes, we still have scratches, we still have some swirls, it's okay. So one step, but look at the whole left half. You can even tell right where I'm pointing at. All the oxidation, haziness, swirls. As I, as I wait, make my way over, look. That's just a one step. It's a young vehicle, it doesn't need much, but we brighten up the paint, make it look awesome and glossy. Look at this whole right side. We finished polishing this whole right half. All that's left is the left half, and we are done. That's the after, and this is the before. Just a crazy difference. Just look. With just three quick section passes, we've made this Tacoma young again. For the icing on the cake, we went ahead and applied the DIY detail ceramic gloss onto the vehicle and now it is protected for months to come. And for the plastic trim, my wife went ahead and applied, like I stated earlier, the DIY detail tire dressing to give it that nice final deep rich look. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this detail and I will show you guys the after results of the interior and the exterior. So go ahead and stick around for that. everyone so this is the final result so we use the DIY detail gold standard polish with the gold standard waffle pad we did about three four section passes that's about it we did put tire lotion on here or their tire dressing on the trim because it is faded we did clean it or remove the oxidation on the trim I did ask him if he wanted the trim restore but he didn't reply but to that question so that's what we did 
this is the paint. Look at the gloss even down here. It was soft paint. Yes, some scratches will remain. That is okay. Again, we're not going for perfection. This is a 2018 um, Tacoma. And it's something that, again, it's young. It doesn't need to be compounded. It's probably going to run straight through a car wash tunnel and then get scratched up. So... These are the wheels and tires. We use ceramic gloss on the rims and the tire dressing from the DIY detail as well on the tires. We put a little bit of tire dressing here on the wheel wells. And yeah, so this is how everything turned out. Like I said, there will be some scratches. It's okay, but it's a big night and day difference from what you guys saw on the video. We'll take a walk on this side. And yeah, so hopefully you guys like this. All the products will be down below in the description. You guys can use code DMS at checkout to purchase all DIY detail products, 10% off your entire order. And hopefully you guys see this transformation came out beautiful. And the DIY detail product line has yet to fail, to fail me, literally. So I'll see you guys on the outro. All right, everyone, so these are my final thoughts. So let's talk about the gold standard polish. This polish is amazing. It's, again, this product line has yet to fail me, right? We saw how we just removed the oxidation with only three to four section passes using the gold standard polish and the DIY detail waffle pad. And we used the entire DIY detail product line. The only thing that I didn't use was the quick beads. And that's about it. We use interior clean and protect to wipe down all the door panels. You guys saw the interior. My wife did an amazing job like she always does. She took care of the interior while I tackled the exterior and she removed the stains that were on the seats and we used bio break and flex ice, excuse me. So yeah, so keep your detail arsenal simple. Again, I am using all the other stuff that I have on my shelf. They're still great products, but I'm trying to make things cohesive and again, be profitable. And so far, this product line has yet to fail me. So until it does, I will talk about the negatives. Even though there are a little bit of negatives with these products, as for example, ceramic gloss is not sun friendly. Same thing with quick beef. But that's, just, that's with any SIO2 product, and I could go down the list. And the example here is the Gion Ceramic Detailer. In direct sunlight, or even if it's slightly hot the panel, you will automatically streak. And this has SIO2 in it. But other than that, everything else is amazing. The water spot remover unclogs the vehicle just like that. Breaks down the salt, the grime, everything. The tire dressing leaves that nice satin type of sheen finish. It's not too glossy, it's not too dull. Again, this product line just works and it just works for me. If you guys like these products, just go ahead and purchase them. I'll put the link down below in the description. You guys can use code DMS if you guys wanna support me. But yes, hopefully you guys like this type of content. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.